Hello, shiny friends. Today's episode is me going to share my stash of art books and my stash of art magazines. I had to spend some time going around the studio and collecting those out of places that I had them hidden. Really and truly, I don't have that many um, books on painting. The first abstract uh, art book that I do have is Abstract Painting Concepts and Techniques by Vicki Perry. It's one of the only abstract books that I do have. And once I started looking at what paint books I do have, I really discovered I don't have that many. I remember years ago, whenever I got this book, I was like flipping through here and I was like, I just really don't want to read about this and just got to creating. But anyway, it is a good resource. And actually the more I sit here and look at it and show you and what have you, I'm thinking about doing some reading in it to just inspire and do a little further education. Psychology and physiology of scene. It goes over color, form, texture. I saw in here a while ago, uh, protecting the actual uh, acrylic, how to pour paint, staining with paint, painting in layers, approaches to practice of painting. It's a pretty detailed book. I've had it for a while. It was one of the first books on art that I purchased and or, you know, of abstract or anything. The rest of my books that I have are more of mixed media. Um, when I set out to start and do this video, I was like, you know, I really don't have just a ton of art books, but I wanted to cover and go over what I do have. The next book is Good Day, Good Mail Day. Book number two. And if I had to say that this is any of my favorite uh, art books, mixed for mixed media and what have you, this is it. I have a true love for mail and it is fun to be able to mix your art into things that you send in the mail. It has things such as mail art is for everyone, uh, guiding for getting started with your mail and having your mail carrier become your best friend to creating a traveling mail art kit, decorating and illustrated envelopes, paper folding, texture and pattern ideas. The next book is book number three. Unfueling a mixed media workshop with Misty Moan. I've been following her for a long time. I haven't recently looked at any of her stuff, but she was, you know, several years ago, a huge inspiration of mine. I just um, love seeing her, her work and her creative thought process and pictures and images. I followed her on Instagram. Um, but all of these books I've actually had for several of many of years, but it's always been my longing desire to um, share them with others. So whenever I got ready to do this week's video, I said that would be a good thing to go with. So she has it sectioned out with section one, section two, three. Um, and all, it, yeah, it's in three sections. But the first section is art which is broke down in drawing, painting, and collage. And then the second section is craft, stamp carving, paper pottery, and paper crafts. And then the third is journaling, journaling making, photography, and poetry. The fourth book is Taking Flight by Kelly Ray Roberts. Inspiration and techniques to give your creative spirit wings.
the fourth book is? The Painted Art Journal by Janine Oliver. I actually have a video about this book, several of my videos back. I will try to link it in the description of this video for you. But um, years ago, I served on the book launch team for when this book was released and even created a journal um, out of the guidelines that she has in here. This is actually a really good bit book and the video that I did crea create on it has served as a good video on my channel that it brings in lots of people. And my point of saying that is, I think it's because people really like the book. So if there was one book that I was going to encourage you out of these to get, it would be this one, to spend a little time with it. Of course, I like all the books or I wouldn't be sharing them with you. The fifth and book, and lastly, we have the book of collage couture, meaning for sewing and putting things together. This is a techniques for creating fashion art by Julie Nutting. One of the sections that she has inspires you and shows you how to create different parts of the face like lips, eyes, nose, like she has it broken down and then you can put them all together. At one point, me and one of my daughters did this little exercise, so that's what you see there is the different things that we spent time on creating different ones and then we piece some things together. Mine is on the right and that one is my daughter's on the left. And this particular little girl, I spent some time on creating just her. The book is broke down into four chapters. The first one being techniques. And it has things like folding and ruffles, putting the figure together, facial features and hair. That was just a few of them. Um, and then the chapter two is fashion on canvas and hmm. chapter two fashion on canvas where she shows you how to put all the te techniques together that she shared with you in the first chapter on putting them onto canvas and then the third chapter, let's see what it's about. Framed fashion, and she shows you ways to make collages, whether you frame them like in a picture frame or on a piece of paper, like framing them out. It's really cute ideas. You can get as intense or not with this as you want. And fashionable gifts is the last chapter. The next thing I want to share with you is a stack of art magazines. Artful blogging. It's been several years since I've bought any, but whenever I used to would buy these more frequently, I would purchase them at a local bookstore. I actually years ago applied to have some of my art in um, one of these types of magazines and was rejected. It was one for the art journaling. But I know several people who have made it into these types of magazines, so don't ever Create hesitate with me. to apply. You can find that information in like the back cover area of each of the magazines. This one is geared towards creating projects with children, and I actually one year did a birthday party for my daughter and used an example out of here where we created a cupcake on canvas.
art journaling. It was always fun to read what the editor had to say of these magazines. I often found these more in detailed and more inspiring to me than say another mixed media book and these magazines were kind of pricey being around about 14 or 15 dollars a piece digital studio I at one season in my life would combine um, some of my pictures from photography. I used to have a love for going around town or while on trips and taking photography and then coming back home and creating them with you know other things to make them more of a digital art piece. This, this is the Somerset Studio and it has the Misty Moan one of the artists that I showed you one of her books earlier in this video. Apprentice is the name of this magazine right here. And I tell you, I told you a story a while ago about finding the cupcake in the Create With Me Children's Magazine. It is actually in this magazine. You'll see it right there. See in the right hand corner that type of cupcake on that canvas. That was what we did. I'll actually have to share that with you one day more in depth in another video. Another art journaling magazine. It's just a different month. What I enjoyed about these type of magazines is they would have sections that would give you tips and tricks and then Q&As from artists that were the apprentice. in the magazines. And it, they would be very helpful education-wise. Somerset Studio. I have several duplicates of like art, art journaling. I mean, they're different copies, but it's the same magazine is what I'm saying. It is my hope that you have enjoyed looking through these magazines with me. I tried to really take some time so you could actually be able to enjoy. And maybe if you find interest in these type of magazines, you could pick up a copy of your own. This is going to conclude today's episode. I hope you were encouraged and found value in this week's episode to inspire you on your journey. Until next time, here's to serving others around you and finding time for yourself in your creative process.